Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the background out of, an, of an image and uh, make a transparent layer. So to do that, there are several methods, but I'm going to be doing two today. The first involves taking an image like such that has a, uh, a for the most part, uh, completely flat uh, white, black, brown, yellow, green, purple, whatever uh, colored layer background and then selecting the layer uh, <coughs> uh, toolbar transparency and then color to alpha uh, depending on whichever color you have you would just use the color picker tool and select that one and then you would just press OK and there you go the image is transparent then you could do something cool as in like uh, add it to another image uh, like this one right here and then stack it on top and uh, make your own little creation. Now, another option, uh, let's say you had an image like this where you would say, oh, well, why don't I just do layer transparency and then color to alpha again? Well, no, because unfortunately, because the fox has, has such light colored fur <clears throat> and white in it as well, uh, it will remove it. Now, if you had a black or, or dark red background, it might help more, but because this one is white, it will remove part of the fur and make the fox transparent as well. So, to avoid that, you're gonna, we're going to use another tool called the, uh, just called this, the color tool, and it's a little uh, orange hand pointing to a blue, red, and green stack of, of uh, squares. So you would grab that tool, and then um, you would select the color around, and it will select that area. Now, if you'll notice down here in the info box, uh, you have an option for anti, uh, anti, ugh, ugh, anti-aliasing, feather e or feather or feathered edges, uh, transparent areas uh, being selected, and uh, samples being merged. So, if I was you, I would leave those options the same. I would even leave the uh, select by composite option the same. However, your threshold could differ. In the instance of this one, I uh, set my threshold to 30 so that uh, the the lines the uh, the the marching ants or what they're called would get closer to the fox and so you just take that area and then you go and then you go to layers transparency add an alpha channel and then you can either go back to transparency and color to alpha or you can simply press delete on the selection and then you remove your selection and then bam you have no background left and the fox stayed 100% uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, non-transparent or had 100% opacity to them. And then if you'll notice there are there might be a little bit of uh, edges that could have some work done to them. Uh, so if you want to get the blur tool and then just take that around the corners uh, real quick job here it could be done a lot better if you spend more time on it. Um, and you'll have a pretty good image and uh, damn final solution so no background so uh, and, and that's pretty much it um, so thank you guys for watching the video and I hope you please comment and rate and subscribe and have a wonderful day